Question 8A, copy and complete the table of values for y equal to 2s square minus s minus 4 for minus 3 less than equal to s less than equal to 3. You have the table of values with some missing y values. B parts of the question using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the s axis and 2 cm to 2 units on the s axis. Draw the graph of the given function over this range. C. Use the graph to find Roman figure 1 roots of the equation 2s squared minus s minus 4 equal to 0. Roman figure 2 values of s for which y increases as s increases. Roman figure 3 minimum point of y. Solution A part is to complete the table of values. Already you have the S values, then Y. For us to get Y, we need to get 2S squared minus S minus 4 is a constant. So you write it under each value of s let's compute 2s square first you square minus 3 that is 9 times 2 you have 18 minus 2 square is 4 times 2 you have 8 and so on for us to get minus s you simply come here and multiply each value of s by minus 1. So, minus 1 times minus 3, you have 3. Minus 1 times minus 1, you have 1. Minus 1 times 2, you have minus 2. Then, minus 4 is there all true because it is a constant. We come here and simply add 18 plus 3. That is 21 minus 4. You have 17. 8 plus 2, 10 minus 4. You have 6 and so on. This is the complete table of values for the given equation. Next thing is to plot the graph of the given equation. B part of the question, we are to plot the graph. This is the given scale in the question. On the S axis, 2 cm to 1 unit. This graph I'm using, one boss, that is 1 cm, contains 5 lines. So to get 2 cm you have to combine two buses so from the origin to the end of the second bus is one the next two buses two you have three and so on but on the y axis when you combine two buses you give it two units the next becomes four and so on. This scale implies that one line is equal to 0 0.1 units on S axis and 0 0.2 units on Y axis. To get this value from here to here, you have 10 lines. So you divide the number of units by number of lines. That is 1 divided by 10. You have 0 0.1. If you come here, you divide 2 by 10. 
you have 0 0.2. We plot the first point when s is minus 3, y is 17. After 16, the middle way is 17. This is the point of intersection. You mark that point minus 2, 6. When s is minus 2, y is 6. You mark the point of intersection minus 1, minus 1. That is somewhere here. This minus 1 for y, minus 1 for s. This is the point of intersection. You have 0 minus 4. When s is 0, y is minus 4. You mark that point directly on the y axis. When s is 1, y is minus 3. This is minus 3 for y. The s is 1. This is the point of intersection. When s is 2, y is 2. Somewhere here, when s is 3, y is 11. 11 is in between 10 and 12. So this is 3 for s, 11 for y. You have the point of intersection. Next is to join the points together. Here, all the points are joined together. We move to C part of the question. C, Roman figure 1, roots of the equation. The roots are obtained from the point of intersection of the curve with the S as is. The roots are minus 1.2 or 1.7. Remember that on the S as is, one line is 0 0.1 units. So after one, the next line minus 1.1. The second line where you have the intersection is minus 1.2. Then, if you count from 1 to the right, you have 1.7. Roman figure 2, as y increases, the values of s are 2 and 3. We know from here, you have decrease. You have decrease, and the increment in y begins from this point where s is 2 then to 3. Roman figure 3, the minimum point of y is minus 4. Don't forget the title of the graph. It is very important. It is simply the equation you are asked to plot.